Dizzy from Much Love, just because it's a good, a good way to demonstrate the chords that we use in pretty much every song. Most of the songs are in drop D, a half step down, so drop, drop C sharp, which I've heard referred to as New Jersey Standard. I use these chords and slide them everywhere, which is essentially like a power chord, barring the first two, and then using my pinky either uh, three, three or four frets up. So there's only three notes in the chord and then the rest of my hand just kind of mutes the other strings from playing. I, I just started doing those chords forever ago just because when you, when you run it through distortion and fuzz and, and, and uh, more like high gain tones or whatnot, you can still hear all of the notes of the chord without it starting to lose like the clarity the way you do if you, if you play like an open chord and, and, you, and you like have a bunch of uh, distortion on it or, or drive or whatever, it'll, it'll start to just kind of sound like a sh she mess <laughs> as opposed to me being able to hear the notes clearly. I try to just keep it to two or three note chords for, for a lot of it. The first chorus is of uh, pick rakes too I feel like too that's a common thing with with microwave so it's like a so so depending on which chord you're on you either have the you have it four frets up or three frets up with your pinky and then it's just barred there and then this just kind of mutes everything. So those are pretty much scattered throughout every microwave song. Essentially also for like Drown, which is another song, it's it's a it's a two note version of of the same chord. So it's and I believe it's it's a nine chord is actually what you what you, what you would call it is the the high note, like the one I'm I I'm, I'm hitting with my pinky is like the nine of of the uh of the chord that, I've, that I'm playing, of, of, of the note of the chord that I'm playing. So if it's a two note chord, I'm doing the nine, but it's just uh, two, two strings instead of one. And I've always just, just loved like the way that uh, you can make two and three note chords sound. I started writing songs with those chords when I was like 16 or 17. I have a few variations of it too. Like I'll, I'll do, do, do a power chord and drop D and then add, add a, two frets up on the fourth string and then three frets up on the uh, on the fifth string and it's it's essentially like a bar chord or whatnot like it it just sounds like a bar chord which we we use in like a lighter list and and uh in a lot of songs too i played in drop d all the time and would, and would try different things because you can you can start doing things with with your other fingers while you're uh while you're barring the chord like I've always been a fan of just like playing with more feel in the right hand and stuff. Uh, I remember one of the first songs I learned how to play was uh, Rage Against the Machine. And you get that little thing in there and it, it feels like a, it just adds a little bit more of like a rhythmic. It, it feels cool. <laughs> And uh, so, so I've always just kind of like added pick rakes on, on things in between things just because it uh, just something my hands naturally gravitate towards doing, I guess. That, that Rage song is in Drop D. And I remember uh, I was really into Linkin Park and stuff. And a lot of those bands, it's literally... Be because you can just play chords faster and stuff and switch between... This is this is one that I've been asked to to show more. It's a little bit harder than just the three note chords or whatever. I don't know if hard's the right word, but 
more uh, involved. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the song Wrong, uh, like the main riff from the verse. It's like... So it's it's good that I that I showed those those chords first because essentially this is the like a great example of a riff where I I just I started doing other things where it's where I where I, where I pick it out more and then but it still uses those chords and slides it around or whatever. The first part is like so so I just hit two strings and then just hit two strings here and then I do that same chord slid down and then slid up. And then here's like the two note version of the same chord with a little hammer on thing. And then uh, there's a few few uh, variations that I play like throughout the song, but it's a... Uh, So there's there's like the perfect example of what you can do with your fingers if you if you can just bar a chord uh, and have a power chord while you're while you're messing around. <laughs> and I play that sloppy all the time because it's kind of weird. Do the slide, <laughs> It'll slide up a weird way. I'll do a variation of that same three note chord sometimes where I'll start to add the other strings on top. Where like if you go on the fourth fret. You go like two notes up you start to get and then if you go in the fifth fret and go three notes up you can start to do cool things you can do the I'll do it in slow motion again Add that layer on sometimes on the fourth string. And then, I essentially like approach it when I hear the the notes that are higher up in the chord as I, I try to like create a melody out of out of like that like the nine of the chord or whatnot. So so as it's like layered on throughout wrong, I I instead of just on the fifth string, make that a chord too. So that, that's more or less all the variations throughout the song as it as it layers into the second verse and stuff. It does a just more broken up between the chords and stuff too. Get a neck neck pickup on a Fender guitar, either a Telecaster, or like a Jazzmaster or Stratocaster or whatnot, and then do two or three note chords with a Tube Screamer on. <laughs> Just so it has like a little bit of crunch and it gets that throaty neck, neck pickup sound <laughs> that it's hard to explain, especially with an acoustic guitar here, but but yeah. I think that's the, the main default sort of microwave tone. <laughs>